What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using the best Trick Room Pokemon for Regulation G. We got ourselves an Ice Rider Calyrex team. Now, Ice Rider Calyrex has amazing bulk and it also has amazing physical attack. Its only problem is its speed. So we're gonna throw it in Trick Room and have this Pokemon go crazy with its signature move, Glacial Lance. Glacial Lance is a stab base 120 move that hits both opponents and then you pair it up with this as one ability. Every time it picks up a KO, it's getting a plus one attack boost. So from there, it's just gonna go into a snowball effect and this Pokemon can pretty much just sweep any team. It's phenomenal. I'm telling you guys, this Pokemon rocks out. But this Pokemon is also holding a clear amulet so we don't have to worry about intimidate drops. Love this item on this Pokemon, make Calyrex even better. Then this move set consists of Glacial Lance, Stomping Cantrum, Heavy Slam to deal with some fairy types, and last but not least, we got Protect. Our Trick Room setter for today's team is going to be none other than Farigarath with Armor Tail, Citrus Berry, Dazzling Gleam, Psy Shock, Trick Room, and Helping Hand. Furthermore, to help out Calyrex, we have Obama Snow on the scene. Pops a Snow Warning, it also has Light Clay and Aurora Veil to set up screens for our whole team. It's got Blizzard as well to spam the snow with Energy Ball and Protect. Our final three Pokemon on today's team are three solid Pokemon. Two of them thrive out in Trick Room. We got King Gambit and Arachmanid. The last one is Incineroar. Do I even have to say what it does? It fake outs, it intimidates, it parting shots. Then it can do a little bit of damage. We love Incineroar. We don't love it, but we like using Incineroar because it's just that good. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Ice Rider Calyrex. Hopping into our first match for today's video, we got ourselves a real good one. We're going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team. So we got Shadow Rider Calyrex versus Ice Rider Calyrex. We're going to love it, but we definitely want to pop Trick Room. They got a rather fast team. On top of that, they got a fake out user. So Frigraph just going to be a top tier option with this lead. So I'm going to go Frigraph. Um... And I'm also going to lead Incineroar. Do I lead Calyrex and maybe just protect it? That's an option. The big time problem that I do have is them doubling down and doing big time damage onto Frigoraph, which again, it's a problem. It's definitely a problem. It could lead Urshifu. Urshifu is scary. Urshifu is scary. That's why I kind of just want to lead Incineroar and play it safe. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring Calyrex in the back end. And last but not least, I'm either going Araquanid or King Gambit. And I kind of like King Gambit just because of first turn priority with Sucker Punch. Always good. Always good. Always solid. Do I do that? Yeah, I think we have to. So yeah, we're going to bring King Gambit in the back end here. They do have Incineroar, so maybe later they could proc a nice little Intimidate. And we can get Defiant going. That could also be good. I'm looking here just to fake out, set up Trick Room, maybe Parting Shot the next turn. Get out the Ice Rider. And then kind of start going from there. Really depends who they lead here and how they're playing this. And they're gonna end up leading Bulk Up Boy alongside with Tornadus. Okay, um, I can't fake out Bulk Up Boy. And honestly, I don't think we Oh man, we popped a fine. That's looking scary. That's not no bueno. Not good at all. Not good at all. Not good at all. Do I go fairy terror here? Just pop trick room. Yeah, we gotta go fairy terror here. And you know what? I'm just gonna party shot into this thing. That's gonna be my play. He's gonna end up withdrawing. Okay. Withdrawal pops out here. We are fairy terroring just in case like the drain punch going into the full graph slot. And they're going into Shadow Rider right off the rip here. So Shadow Rider flying here. Hopefully that thing's not clear and but I would love to hit this thing with a parting shot. So we're terrestrializing. We don't want them going into drain punch in this slot. And honestly, they might go into incinerate with drain punch. But nice big terror popping here. Nice big terror. I'm scared of of this uh defiant boosted guy now. Final Gambit gonna fly through here, and good thing he's going after Incineroar. I actually don't mind that. I actually don't mind that at all. That's fine. You were plus two. Or you were plus one on attack. I was actually scaring you, and I'll take that trade all day. He ends up taking out my Incineroar. I'm cool with that. And now I get off Trick Room. Lovely. The Trick Room is here. And now I can bring out my Ice Rider Calyrex. I actually like that, because I was scared of that King Gambit. I was scared of that. Very scared of that. I'm very happy that they didn't go into Final Gambit into my free graph slot. So now they end up going into these two. You have Surging Strikes. That's looking a little scary. But on top of that, we are going to follow through with a Dazzling Gleam. Because I don't want Calyrex to be Sash. So I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to go for Glacial Lance. Nice, lovely Glacial Lance. We'll see a Terra-type pop out here. The so Terra-type popping out here, most likely from Urshifu. 
And no, it's gonna be Calyrex. So Calyrex gets the Terror type. And it goes straight Fairy. It goes straight Fairy. So we have Trick Room here. Let's see how we can actually play this one out. I want to go for Helping Hand, but if you are Sash, that could be a little bit of an issue. So we end up going to Glacial Lance, and it actually doesn't do enough damage as much as I wanted to do into the Calyrex. But can this can actually pick up the KO? It does not, but it picks up the KO onto Urshfu, which is big. And honestly, my Shadow Rider Calyrex might be dead here. It might be dead to an Astral Barrage. I think it might be dead here to an Astral Barrage. Frograph should soon. And Calyrex drops out. So, just not enough damage coming out from my Ice Rider Calyrex. I still like how we took taken out Urshifu. And we still have Trick Room out and about. And we have King Gambit, which is such a solid Pokemon. And this thing actually did die. Life Orb damage. Awesome! <laughs> this is just such a weird battle. Such a weird battle. But big time damage coming out from Ice Rider Calyrex. We got Urshifu. Calyrex ended up dying. And we have Berry. We have Berry. That just finally goes off. That's big time. And now we have King Gambit. And it turns to a 2v1. I think we won this one. Shouldn't say that yet. They don't have Terra either now. They do not have Terra either now. There we go. King Gambit comes out from us and it's just Tornado's left. Yeah, wrap it up. Wrap it up. We'll go into a Dazzling Gleam. On top of that, we'll just go Kaltak Cleave. Big time stab damage. And they end up just canceling the battle. So we have a quick one in match number one. Let's go hop into a second match. Try to go back to back. Second match on its way, and we are going up against a Terrapagos team. They also have Furograph, so they do have a chance of canceling out Trick Room here. That could be devastating, but I think I'm going to want to set up a War Veil here early on here. I think it's going to be great for my Calyrex and for the rest of the team, so I'm going to go Obama Snow and Furograph to kind of get things started. I'm going to bring Calyrex in the back end, and last but not least, we're going to bring either King Gambit or Raccoonade just to give us a bit more firepower. Raccoonade it's not going to be bad considering it does have Wide Guard, Furthermore, the bug will be super effective onto the, uh, what is that Pokemon? Onto the Roaring Moon. I do like that. I do like that. But King Gambit's just a strong, just a strong Pokemon, right? You have Dark type, you got Seal. Do I want to go King Gambit? I kind of want to go King Gambit. I'm going to go King Gambit here. So sorry, Raccoonid. Actually, you know what? We're bringing the Raccoonid. I just think Wide Guard could come in so clutch, right? With Terra Star Storm, double hitting move. I think Wide Guard could be lovely, so... That's going to be a squad. we got some nice attack power here. Looking to set up the War Belt early on in the match just to have it for eight turns with that light clay. And then kind of get the Ice Rider Calyx in the snow. Because their only way of terrain or weather control would be like Sunny Day. Right? And do we think they're going to pop Sunny Day? There is a chance that they pop Sunny Day. That could be scary. That could be a little scary. And honestly, let's just go for a Blizzard here. Let's just go for a Blizzard here and let's just attack. I say we just attack here. Because Frigraph could cancel that Trick Room. They could just be imprisoning. They could be imprisoning. They could be going for Sunny Day. And now you're just going to go for a Moonblast here. It's going to start attacking me. So Frigraph going to take a little bit of damage. Calm Mind. Wow, we could have just set up the Trick Room. We could have set up everything. We could have just set up everything here. We could have just did everything. But at least we do get rid of Whimsicott. That's not bad. We're going to get rid of Whimsicott. Can we get a Freeze on Friggies? Give me a Freeze on Friggies. Just an odd turn. Because I feel like they could have just did so much. I feel like they could have canceled that Trick Room. They could have went in the sunny day. But, I mean, I'll take that turn picking up a KO on the Whimscott. But that could have been a, such a good turn for us to get off our, what we wanted. So now they go into Metagross. You know? Metagross looking a bit scarier. I do want to still try to pop a War Veil here. I'm going to go for Trick Room. War Veil Trick Room. I'm hoping my Obama Snow can outspeed that Metagross. I know it didn't outspeed that Fruit Graph, but we'll see how they want to play this one because I really want to get up a War Veil. Because even without Trick Room, I feel like I want to get off either one or the other. Meteor Mash going to fly here, and we're going to soak that. It's good. It's good news. It's going, to, it's going to Baton Pass here. That's fine. You're just swapping out and giving Combine Boost to somebody else. So we are going to be able to get off a War Veil, and we are going to be able to get off Trick Room. So we get off both. We get off both, and they go into Terapi- Ooh, Terapi goes with Calm Mind Boost now. A little scary. Definitely a little scary. Definitely a little scary, but after all these boosts, I'm, I'm, they're definitely going to help us out here. So War Bell out and about. Love it. Eight turns of this. Eight turns of this. And they have no way of weather control now, which is huge. Actually, this thing Terrasalize, doesn't it take away weather? Please don't tell me it takes away a War Bell, too, but I'm going to go Blizzard here. And I'm just going to go for Side Shock. I'm just going to double down on this thing. Just to get rid of its uh, Terror Shift ability and allow my uh, Calyrex to kind of come in the back and help things out. 
I kind of wish we brought King Gambit at this point, but we did bring uh, our Raquinid. Actually, a Raquinid could be good. Terra Star Storm really help my guard on Terra Star Storms. That's why we brought a Raquinid, so this could be good. But I believe once Terrap goes Terrasalizes, it eliminates all weather. I don't know if it takes away my War Bell, and I'm going to be very upset if it eliminates my War Bell. Because it might honestly eliminate Trick Room, too. I'm not too sure. Terrap goes could be that guy. It could be that guy, but I think it just eliminates all terrains and weather on the field when it terrestrializes. I believe, I believe. There's no way it takes away Trick Room. No, there's just no shot. There's just no shot. And they're not even going to terrestrialize. The bush are going to fly here. Terra Shell is going to break. That's kind of what we wanted to do here. And Psy Shot gonna double down into it and deal a little bit of damage. Not bad, not bad. So now can you get rid of my Obama so Thank you very much. And can you get rid of my Frigoraf? Because I want as many turns as Trick Room with my boys. With my boys, Terra Stars from Fine Thunder. Without a Terra type. Still doing damage. Still doing damage. So I eat up a berry here, which is gorgeous. It's just lovely. I'm bringing out the Ice Rider. I am bringing out the Ice Rider. This thing's going to get some leftovers HP. Don't mind it. I don't mind it. At all. Now I get to bring out the Ice Rider. Alright, so Ice Rider on the field here. Um, Do we Terrestrialize Ice Rider? There's a chance that maybe we should Terrestrialize Ice Rider. Because Steel moves? Not looking too good on that. Not looking too good on that. So I could just go Terrestrialize. Glacial Ants, Water Terror. Yeah, and then just Helping Hand across the board here. Just to try to get rid of Terrapagos here. And that's the play. That's the play, because we got four turns left in Trick Room here, or three. Decent amount of turns left in Trick Room, so looking just to spam Glacial Lance here, get off as much damage as we can. If they take out for a grab, no big deal. We bring out a stronger Pokemon in Trick Room, and they're going to Terrasalize here as well. And is this going to be Terry? This is going to be Terry, so Terrapago is going to Terrasalize, and we have to hope that this, act this Glacial Lance actually just KOs this thing, because if it doesn't, to be honest, this thing might KO my... Uh, my Calyrex. Yeah, see, the snow stops. The snow stops. We should still have a War Bell and stuff like that, which is good. And we're going into a Glacial Lance. Can you KO the Terrapagos, please? And thank you. We don't. Terrapagos. Big boy. So that Terra helps us out there. And you're going into Terra Star Storm, aren't you? You're plus one. We have a War Bell. I just need you soaking this up, Calyrex. All day. All day, Calyrex. All day. Let's go. That's a big time soak up. That's a big time soak up. So another Glacial Lance to KO the Terrapagos. Um, how many turns are left in Trick Room? We have two. Two turns left in Trick Room, and I could honestly just go for Stomping Cancer in this slot, but Glacial Lance can be my play with Helping Hand again. Glacial Lance with Helping Hand again. Yeah, so we're going to get rid of the Terrapagos here. Um, we'll have one turn left in Trick Room after this, which is great. Which is massive. We are going to go plus one on attack here. Almost KO in the Metagross. So we have one turn left in Trick Room. You might just go into Psychic Fangs, KO my Calyrex, but I do like having a Rackwood in the back end. Chilling they boost it. Actually, you might survive Psychic Fangs. Oh no, you break Aurora Veil. You broke Aurora Veil! How dare you! That's my Aurora Veil. Kind of hoping you don't have Bullet Punch. You might have. I would, I would think that you would have Bullet Punch, but you can't use it. Armor Tail here on the field. One turn left in Trick Room. They send out for Riggies. They send out for Riggies. And I'm going to go for Glacial Lance. And on top of that, um, I'm just going to go for, I guess, Staz and Bean. I don't want to go into Helping Hand. The reason I don't want to go into Helping Hand is because if you KO the Calyrex. Actually, no. I mean, you're definitely slower than everybody here. It's safe to go into Helping Hand. You can't Bullet Punch. You're slower than everybody. It's a safe play. So Calyrex plus one with Helping Hand Glacial Lance. Should be able to deal damage. Probably a double kill here, right? Double KO for the win. Let's go. Big time matchup to Rap Ghost. Giving us a little scary, but popping the trick room and getting after it with Ice Rider Calyrex. Match number two goes to us. We're sitting at 2 0. We started off things hot, grabbing ourselves a win in match number one and in match number two, but now we're hopping into match number three and we have very similar teams. Both rocking Ice Rider Calyrex, both rocking Incineroar, both rocking King Gambit. They also have Psychic, Terrain, Cresselia, and Amoogus. Amoogus is going to be a little bit of a problem, but to be honest, I don't even think we go into our Trick Room Pokemon. 
I'm gonna be honest, I don't even think we go into our trick room Pokemon in this matchup. I think we just go full out attack. King Gambit, Araquanid, you name it. Let's rock out into it. Let's see if they pop trick room. Cause to be honest, I think our team has a bit more speed than theirs. Right? If they pop Trick Room, I think they're going to thrive out a little bit more considering they have a Moongus. Moongus, very annoying. Cresselia, very slow as well. They just have slow Pokemon, just like us. But I, I just think we're not going to bring Trick Room because if they want to pop Trick Room, they can. If not, it's just going to be a close, decent match. It's not like they have Pokemon that are just straight up outspeeding us. But one Pokemon that I hope they're not going to lead, and since I'm saying this, they are going to lead it, is Incineroar. I don't want them to lead Incineroar. I just don't want it. I got two ice types on the field. I don't like it one bit. So hopefully they're leading like Cress and, I don't know, Ice Rider Calyrex. Even though I don't want to see Ice Rider Calyrex either. But I want to get off a Roar Veil. I like the weather. I like a Roar Veil. Let's see. No Incineroar? I told you. Every time. Every time I say something. It's just a problem. Every time. Every single time. And honestly, this is a terrible, a terrible position for us. A terrible position for us because King Gambit doing a lot of damage to me. It's doing a lot of damage to my Ice Rider Calyrex. And Flare Blitz will just KO us. Um, let's go for the War Veil and let's just go for the Protect here. Go for War Veil Protect, see if we can pull that off. Um, hopefully they're faking out Calyrex and maybe doubling out into it. But yeah, I just don't like that. I just don't like that. And this, this is this lead is horrible. It's, it's terrible. It's a terrible. Lead. It's a terrible lead. But luckily, we did have Clear Amulet helping us out up against that Intimidate. That was good for us. That's the only good thing we got out of this turn. Was my item. <laughs> my item's the only good thing we got out of this turn. But I'm really hoping no Flare Blitz, no Kaltak Cleave. We're hoping to just fake out into Calyrex here. And since I said that, that's exactly what's going to happen. I told you, that's exactly what's going to happen. Kaltak Cleave comes to rear, and then Flare Blitz is flying into that other slot. Unless you outspeed and get off a War Veil. No, you double down. We love it. We love it. So big time protect from us. A War Veil. Come on down. Rain on down on us. A War Veil out and about. That's pretty massive. Um, Again, scared of the Caltech leave. I'm going to just throw blizzards around. I'm going to tear water. I'm just going to stomping tantrum. Just start stomping tantrum. War Veil. We got it. Yeah, that's huge. I'm surprised. I mean, I'm actually not too surprised that they double down on the Calyrex. It's just such a big threat. Right, and I don't think just a single Kaltak Cleave could KO. It actually might, but Kaltak's pretty bulky. It's a pretty bulky Pokemon. It's a pretty bulky Pokemon, so out comes their Terra type. We're going with straight water. We're not dealing with it. We're not dealing with the dark moves. We're not dealing with the fire moves. I don't mind if Flutter Blitz KOs my uh, Abomasone now. It pretty much did its job. Eight turns for Warvale on the field. That's huge. So he Terrasalized you. He ends up just protecting King Gambit. And you're going to take off my clear amulet here. You little biscuit. Still doing a decent amount of damage. Still did some nice damage. Blizzard gonna fire. Can we just freeze this this Tony the Tiger guy? Can we just freeze the tiger? No. It's time to catch him. Gonna get blocked. Um, I might switch stop and catch him over onto Incineroar now. They might swap Incineroar. And honestly, I'm just gonna to swap you into Arachnid. I'm gonna get Arachnid out here and. Let's just throw a Glacial Lance. Because they might swap in Sinor, and on top of that, might, they might Terrasalize King Gambit. I'm going to throw a Glacial Lance onto the field. I am throwing the Glacial Lance. We're going to swap our Bomb Snow at full HP. Save it for a little later. And again, I'm hoping they just Terrasalize King Gambit. And furthermore, swap the Incineroar here. Because then this could be a big time Glacial Lance turn. So Bomb Snow dips back. And Iraq when he comes out. Lovely little Arachnid, and they're just going to go for a low kick here, which is a solid turn for us. And of course, they don't Terrasalize or do anything that I think they're going to do. I mean, they do Party Shot, so we might want to swap our Calyrex. And we'll go from there. And I have Arachnid out here, behind a War Veil. And he going into it. I wish I went to stop against him this turn, then. Oh, Intimidate could do it so dirty. It really can. I'm gonna have to swap Calyrex here. Oh man. A lot of physical attackers for me. So out comes our third Pokemon that we get to see. It's gonna be Amoongus, who is actually taking a Glacial Lance. That's pretty good. 
that's pretty good. I'll take that all day. So Glacial Land's gonna fly here. It is going to pick up big time damage onto Amoongus and do a little bit of damage on the King Gang. Not a bad turn for us. Not a bad turn for us. So now I'm sitting here where we are faster than Amoongus. But they might just swap into Incineroar here. But honestly, I'm just gonna go for a... I really wanna go for Liquidation here. Into you. Could make the read that they're swapping, but I'm just gonna go into you. I'm gonna hard swap into a Bomb of Snow here. I could go into King Gambit. Oh, I could go into King Gambit. Yeah, because if they swap into Fine Pop... Ooh, hoo, hoo. They swap into Fine Pop, and man, they're gonna go into Incineroar first. That's upsetting. That's upsetting. And we are going Liquidation in that slot. That's actually big time. That's actually big time. So I should have just stuck with the Glacial Lance, but they might just harass Lance and move so we'll just protect it. Man, I really wanted my King Gambit to get on the field first because the fine would have been huge. It would have been so big. So now we get to swap into the King Gambit. And Liquidation flies into the slot. Liquidation doing massive damage. Yo, this thing hits hard. It hits so hard. And are you putting somebody to sleep? Don't be putting me to sleep. I should have stayed in. I should have stayed in. You're putting my King Gambo to sleep. We don't like that. But in better news, we still have Aurora Veil and we have Ice Rider Calyrex in the back end. And no more Intimidates on the field. So I'm hoping a Leech Life could actually pick up a KO onto a Moongus. I don't know if it can. But I think they just go back into King Gambit here. Or maybe show their final Pokemon. Which I would think would be Ice Rider Calyrex. And I'm surprised they didn't bring that Pokemon out yet. They do have it. Yep, there it is. So Calyrex comes out about. It has two abilities, a nerve, no berries loud. And I really just want to go for a leech life into this Amoongus, trying to KO it. I really want to get rid of this thing. And if I can, obviously I'd rather go for a Caltech Leap in this slot. But they still have Terra, which they might pop this turn, they might save it for a turn. Um hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I have a bomb of snow. And I have Calyrex in the back end. Not bad, not bad. Not too shabby, but I want to get rid of this Amoongus. Amoongus is just a problem. Like, that thing spawned me. We don't like it one bit. Not one bit. So Leech Life going to fly here. It doesn't do nearly enough damage. Like, that Liquidation just tanked that Incineroar, and then like, Leech Life doing nothing onto this thing. Spore's going to fly here, and she's going to put me to sleep. Big time problem here. Big time problem. This thing is just going to start spamming Glacial Lands. It's going to start spamming. We got a problem. We got a problem. Oh no, they go for Trick Room instead. So Trick Room pops out here. And both my Pokemon are Slump. Amoongus looking like a problem. And Amoongus has to go first, which is the biggest problem. Amoongus has to die out first. Um, I could end up just swapping into like a Bomb of Snow here. But I mean, we're asleep. I would rather try to pull off Fly Guards if we can wake up. But we're not going to wake up this turn. Which kind of sucks. But I'm going to do that. I'm going to go for a Cow Tackle even. Look to just KO this Amoongus. I really want to get rid of it. I need it to be gone. We need to just get it on out of here. If I get rid of Moongus, we have a shot at win this match. Double Spore. Oh, man. I hate being spored. Get Petition for Amoongus to go home. <laughs> petition for Amoongus just to stop. But honestly, Amoongus kind of gets a nerf in Regulation G. Wait, did you just sub? You just subbed? No. No. You have Substitute? And Swords Dance? Oh, man. No! You had enough HP to sub up? That's... That's ridiculous. It's getting out of hand at this point. It's getting out of hand at this point. It really is. It really is. But we're gonna spam a wide guard here. Hopefully you're going for Glacial Lance. There's Swords Dance now. They got a sub. But what I was saying was... Um... Amoogus kind of receives a nerf in Regulation G because... Koridon, well not Koridon, Miraidon comes into play. And Miraidon can pop Electric Train, which stops status conditions. So that actually helps out our case up against Amoongus. But still, this Pokemon's an absolute beast. It really is. Amoongus, so good. One of the best grass types for support ever. But let's see what they end up doing here, because this is terrifying. I mean, we are wasting out Trick Room turns, and they're going to finally put a Terror type onto their uh, Calyrex here, right? And is this ice? If this is ice, I'm scared. It's water. Okay, it's water. I mean, we do have Energy Ball on Obama Stone later in the match. But Araquanid is going to wake up here. Oh, yeah. Give me a Wide Guard, baby. 
give me a wide guard. We're not dealing with spores. We're not spores. We're not dealing with glacial lands. King Gambit waking up as well. Oh baby, it's it's massive. It's massive. We get we get our double wake ups here. I swear, if you're still clicking spore, I'm gonna be so upset. I'm gonna be so upset if you're still clicking spore. Pollen puff. Okay. Doing a little bit of damage here. And high horsepower. Oh man, you're dead. You're dead. Oh, King Gambit survived. Oh baby. All right. We kind of have to go after Amoongus. We kind of just have to go after Amoongus here. Might swap it to Obama Snow here. That's the exactly window. I want my attack stat back. I'm going for Cal Dot Cleave. You're going to put me to sleep, aren't you? You're going to put me to sleep. But honestly, if they're sworn Obama Stone, that's not bad because I'm grass type. And I can just dodge it. But I want my attack stat back on my Rackmid, and I want to waste out these tripping turns furthermore. Got that cleave out speed. Thank the Lord. I don't mind losing King Gambit. As long as we get rid of this Amoongus, like we just did. I'm surprised you're slower. That's a slow King Gambit. Glacial Land's going to fly here. And he's going to pick up KO, and he's going to go plus one again. So now he's plus three. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, sir. How many turns are left in this trick room? We need this thing to end. War of Veil's gone. Wow. War of Veil's gone. And I'm just going to bring out you? With Water Terror? I wish I could see how many turns are left in trick room from this screen. I wish I could. I'm just going to go into Cadillac here. We got the snow popping. War of Veil's gone. How many turns are left in trick room? They throw out their final Pokemon, which is going to be King Gear. This thing's scary, man. Especially with Sucker Punch, we just don't feel like dealing with it. Let's be honest here. Unnerved, no berries allowed. How many turns left in Trick Room? One. Okay, so this is a simple double protect point for me. Double protection. Protect up. So this thing's plus three. This is a solid match. I don't I don't like this Calorx here. I do not like this Calorx. It's just too big of a threat for me. I mean, I have Leech Life with my... With my Araquanid, but other than that, I just... If we don't get off an energy ball here, we pretty much lose this match because this thing could just outbulk us and just be able to kill us in pretty much one shot. Let's see how someone plays. I'm hoping we get up a sucker punch. Our roar belt just ended a few turns too late, to be honest. I'd rather have an extra like two turns here so I can like eat up a sucker punch if it's gonna fly through here onto a bomber snow. Or into a bomber snow, I should say. But I ended up just double protecting. Let's waste out the last turn trigger. Let's waste it out. Waste it on ad here. Again, Calyrex is so bulked right now. Well, not bulked, boosted, I should say. And they end up going for Kaltak Leap. I don't mind. So Kaltak Leap comes through here. I'm falling through with a Glacial Lance. Potentially, right? You are. So there's Glacial Lance. We're kind of hoping they stay on the same path. To be honest, we're kind, of, we're kind of hoping they stay on the same path. Because I'm going for Energy Ball here. Looking for some big time stab damage here. And I think Abomasome outspeeds both of them, correct? Let me see your speed. You should be a bit faster than them. 58. Actually, probably not. Everyone's just so slow. Your fastest is on my team, but everyone is just so slow. Let's energy ball throw at this slot. Let's go for the stop and catch them into the slot. And their glacial lance just outspeeds us. Man, yeah, we should have tried it last turn. We should have just went after it last turn. We should have just went for it last turn. Would have worked better for us. Would have worked better, and now it's just like, man, this is this is wraps. And you're outspeeding us too. Yeah, so actually Trick Room was not helping him at all. Strickham was not helping him. Stop and catch flies through here. It doesn't even come close to KO in. And yeah, that is the match. That is the match. So Trick Room actually helped us out. Our Pokemon were way better for Trick Room. Come to find out. But hey, I'll take a 2-1 winning record all day. I'm just going to run this one. They're going to pop a Glacial Lance. It's GG's. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Ice Rider Calyrex thriving out in Regulation G. Love this Pokemon so much. And the only Pokemon that we did lose to in today's video was Ice Rider Calyrex. So... Technically, Ice Rider Calyrex won every single battle. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. But again, 2-1 winning record. We'll take that all day. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.